Stanley Bear Lake is a lake, park, and wilderness area covering roughly 400 acres in West Omaha. Opened in 1977, the lake was named after Chief Standing Bear, one of Nebraska's most notable icons and heroes. A chief from the Ponca tribe, he was instrumental in gaining civil rights for Native Americans from the federal government. Born in 1829, Standing Bear's life would occur at a locust point of upheaval and change for Native Americans in the Midwest. In 1877, the Ponca were being relocated to Oklahoma after a complicated and controversial arrangement of relocation had been negotiated between the federal government and the Ponca people. Sources tell us that the conditions in Oklahoma were poor and many of the tribe died that winter. Sadly, during the move, Standing Bear's son passed away. He had made a promise to his son that he would bury him in Ponca territory in Nebraska, their old home. So Standing Bear and a party of his relatives made the long trek back to Nebraska. The return to Nebraska was considered a breach of agreement by the federal government, and the Department of Interior ordered General George Crook to have Standing Bear and the Ponca with him arrested. Although ordered to immediately return Standing Bear to Oklahoma, General Crook took pity on Standing Bear's group, considering the treacherous journey they had made and the physical condition of the group. Crook had them detained at Fort Omaha, where Standing Bear could rest and recuperate and his people could regain their health and pursue legal redress. We'll feature General Crook in a future episode. Thomas Tibbles, an advocate for Native Americans, would tell Standing Bear's story in the Omaha newspaper as its editor, and John L. Webster and Andrew Poppleton would serve as Standing Bear's lawyers pro bono. Sidebar, Researching these names was super interesting to me as one of my childhood friends lived on Poppleton Street. Now I know the story behind that street. Near the end of the trial, the judge allowed Standing Bear to make a statement. He held out his right hand and after a long pause said, That hand is not the color of yours, but if I prick it, the blood will flow and I shall feel pain. The blood is of the same color as yours. God made me and I am a man. The newspapers reported that after Standing Bear spoke, the whole courtroom fell silent. You could see tears streaming down the judge's face, and General Crook also lost his composure. After a pause, the courtroom erupted with applause. General Crook was first at his side to shake Standing Bear's hand, followed by the whole courtroom. Soon after, Judge Elmer Dundee announced his decision, ruling that, quote, an Indian is a person, and giving them rights under habeas corpus. Standing Bear died in 1908 and is buried near the site of his birth in Ponca Territory. For this sketch, I decided to mix things up and try using a fountain pen ink over the top of gouache instead of your more traditional watercolor line and wash like I did in the previous episode and for a lot of the paintings in this series. The thing I liked about using gouache was the ability to do many layers of light over dark and vice versa. The ink I use in my pen is a brown ink called Document Brown by Diatramentis, and um, I really like this ink. There's something more natural feeling about a brown ink to me. I want to I wanted to use inks that weren't black because in the past when I've done pen and ink, sometimes I feel like my drawings kind of get a sense of graphic, almost cartoonish feel to them, and I lose a little bit of a sense of realism. Sometimes I want that effect, but that wasn't really the style that I was going for for this series. I also really like the just the natural feeling and more rustic uh, feeling that a brown ink gives, so I really enjoyed using that. This is episode two of my series, doing plein air sketches, trying to tell the story of the town I grew up in. If you want to catch the series from the beginning, click here. To see the next episode, click here. And if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button and share it with a friend. And remember, you have a voice that matters. Go be creative. I'll see you next time.